Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Angelo, when I said that I would do anything for our fans. I didn't mean give a kidney. Welcome back to another movie commentary. My name is Sam. Steph. Weather, Weather Movie Buds. Buds. Ice Age today. Yeah, I saw this one around the time it came out. I saw it when it came out in cinemas. Literally in cinemas. In cinemas. It was there a family treat. What? Like year five or six or something. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah, I remember liking this movie. Mm. Can't remember a whole lot else. I mean, shit, the number of sequels it got. Mm. Yeah, it must have been good. Gotta be solid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Alan Tudyk. Is Scrat played by Alan? Think so? Pretty sure that's one of his uh, roles. He does a lot of animals. Uh huh. If the ice is so hard, why would you want to bury here? It's one of the best running jokes in cinema history. Okay, so he is smart enough to at least look for a new spot. Unfortunately, those brain power only goes so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Like, the marketing for this movie was predominantly just this? I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> it was so great. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... <laughs> Man, physics are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, <laughs> the acorn! My nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It'd be very useful if he could like ski or snowboard on mm, something. Slide. A log of stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh damn. What? Fuck this tiny rodent in particular. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Slide, motherfucker, slide. Yeah, you'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. Cartoon physics saves the day. I do love cartoon physics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, rough. Yeah. Once you're sliding on dirt, yeah. that's gonna hurt. Rhyme, so it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Repeatedly. Oh, dude. <laughs> Just squeezing, like, the animal juice out of Oh god, yeah. Blood spraying uh, with every step. That's how he's sticking. <laughs> Why not call it the big chill? How do we know it's an ice age? Because the ice! If you've never been to a ice age before, how would you know? Just be like, yeah, it's real fucking cold. Yeah. The traffic's moving! You can play extinction later. Come on, guys. Play extinction? What a game. Jesus. Where's that a verge of an evolutionary breakthrough? I'm flying! Oof. Yeah. How many? Why are you specifically walking through the crowd? Because <laughs> Ray Romano don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, you couldn't just walk next to the line? <laughs> nope. Move your issues off the road! If my trunk was that small, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. Rude. We, we've been waddling all day. He's got kids to take care of, yeah. man. And it's fair. Take your issues off the road. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Quieter when you're gone. Well, yeah, it's because there'll be no one left. Uh, uh, hey, I'm up, I'm up. How are we managing to sleep on that tiny branch anyway? <laughs> hey, rise and shine, everybody. Zach? Marshall? That's right. The whole family just fucking bailed on it. Yup. We're gonna miss the my the migration. Again. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. They've just been continuously trying to ditch him, right? Oh yes. They do this every year. Yeah. All right, right. Take a hint. <laughs> there you go. Bye. Doesn't anyone love me? Uh, no, I, I apparently not. Anyone who cares, hit the sloth. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this guy just, uh, I can't see you. Well, funny enough, the original version of this was that there was this weird clingy girl who actually did like him, mm -hmm. but he was just freaked out by her, so he'd always run away from her. Cool. Fresh wild greens, a dandelion. Thought the frost wiped them all out. All but one. Oh, far from it. Just freaking eat already. Oh, I wanna... Dude, what are you... Get some dressing on that. What are you fucking doing? Hey, you rhinos, you know, you have really tiny brains. Did you know that? <sighs> 
Why? Dude. This is why you got left behind. Mm. A dandelion. Ah. Bro. Carl. Easy, Frank. Hurt this man. Yeah, yeah. Ruined our salad. Oh, that was my mistake. I mean, I, let me, let me, let me get up. No, no, seriously. I, let me, let me take care of this. How are you going to take care of this? Pine cone. Oh. I love the sound they put in there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me hide them all up. Oh, no. Here, you have some. Bon appetit. Ah, uh, buddy. Can you run fast enough? No. Ah! <laughs> I gave him a fair head start. Yeah. Ah! Oof. Just pretend that I'm not here. Man. Uh, yeah, I think he can manage that. Yeah. Don't let them impale me. I want to live. Get off me. How are they going to impale you? Wouldn't they just crush you with their head horn things? Precisely. They're both blunt. It's not them today. It's just someone else tomorrow. I'd rather it not be today. I guess that guy's more got one pointy one. Yeah, behind everything. That'd be awkward to get to. Look, we're going to break your neck. I thought rhinos were <laughs> vegetarian. Who says we're going to eat them after we kill them? Fair enough. I don't like animals that kill for pleasure. Safe a mammal that cares. I'm a mammal that cares. <laughs> if either of you make it across that sinkhole, you get the sloth. You take one step and you're dead! Idiots. Why? Why provoke them? Because he's a moron. You were bluffing, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a bluff. <laughs> yeah, considering you both walked across that without yeah. sinking. I know, right? <laughs> Sid, you are not helping. When is Sid ever helping, really? Fair point. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I really wish his plan there was to just bail. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know what? You step out of the way, have him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Dandelion? <gasps> Ah, oh, bummer. Well, it's still there. Yeah. It's just squashed. Pureed. What? <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> we make a great team. I mean, what do you say we just head south? Yeah, hey, jump up on my back and relax the whole way. Oh, really? No. <laughs> obviously not. Aren't you going south? Migration instincts? I guess not. Bye. Yeah, he doesn't want to. I can take it from here. He's basically just given up on life. Yeah. It's uh, pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. When you get to the rest of the story. That whole south thing is way overrated. Who needs it? I mean, isn't this great? You and me. You just want a bodyguard so you don't become somebody's side dish. Very yeah. shrewd mammal. And some kind of company, I guess. Big yeah. Guy. Uh, I didn't get the name. Manfred. Yuck, man. How about... <laughs> Yuck. Many the... Stop following me. Or follow along at a safe distance. Yeah. So we can't do anything about it. Just shut up. Predominantly. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> now, even though the animation has come so far since this time, I can still enjoy the way this looks. Yeah. I think quite a lot. It holds up pretty well considering just how old it is, you know? Yeah, this is like 2001. Look at the cute little baby Diego. Isn't it nice he'll be joining us for breakfast? <sighs> Literally. Especially since his daddy wears our skin to keep warm. Motherfucker. Let's show that human what happens when he messes with sabers. Yeah, but maybe not the baby. Yeah. I understand it's the easy target. Seems like they want to hurt yeah. this dad mm -hmm. emotionally. Yeah. It makes for a good villain motivation. Actually understandable. Bring me that baby alive. I want it to be fresh. You know what's not understandable? The functionality of their jaws. I know. Yeah. Well, technically, human beings are the only animals that have a chin. Yeah. Like this specific kind of setup. So the fact that, like, they're all chin. Yeah. <laughs> is kind of concerning. 90% chin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wiped out. That's your shelter? You got half a stick. Yeah, yeah, not even a whole stick. With my little stick in my highly evolved brain, I shall create... Fire! How is that gonna protect you from rain? Yeah. We'll see if brains triumph over brawn tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the smart one anyway. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think I saw a spark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any chance I could squeeze in there with you? No. Or isn't there someone else you can annoy? Pretty sure he could squeeze in there without men even noticing, let's yeah. be honest. Family. Oh, my family abandoned me. I wonder why. Migrated without me. You should see what they did last year. Quietly tied my hands and gagged me with a field mouse and covered their tracks. That is extreme measures. You really needed to take the hint, man. Yeah. So what about you? You have family? Wolf. Okay, you're tired, I see. Well, we'll talk more in the morning. Oh, hell. Learn how to take the hint better. Oh, come on, nobody falls asleep that fast! Just squeeze in there, he's asleep, he won't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you think of how much of this uh, runtime mm, is how, actually just Scrat. Yeah, it's already a short movie, but if you cut out all the bits with Scrat, it's a really short film. Yeah. No complaints. It's still great. You don't always need a big story mm. to have a good story. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you almost cooked your acorns. Or... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you dogs stand a chance. Yeah, probably not. I guess that would have been wolves still technically at this point yeah something adjacent to wolves yeah wolves are canines yeah they're all dogs dog is dog <laughs> <laughs> like trust us kids a very violent battle is raging right now you don't need to see it <laughs> <laughs> nice I wonder if these tigers can climb trees. Probably. I'm just wondering, like, would it be better for her to climb a tree to get away? But probably mm -hmm. not. No, I think, I think they could climb. Like, it makes sense, but I think it's, yeah, it's an interesting choice to have it that's like, all the animals talk, but the humans don't. Interesting little flip there. Yeah, I liked that even back in the day. Mm. And what a choice for this mom here. Oh yeah, god damn. A very commendable choice to make. Hmm. Well, between that and getting eaten alive, yeah, hardly a choice. <laughs> yeah. Where's the baby? I lost it over the falls. I guess time to bail now. Mm -hmm. I want that baby! Unless you want to serve yourself as a replacement. How would he serve himself as a replacement? Imagining him right now getting out a platter, mm -hmm. getting on it, starting to cut himself up. On a bed of fava beans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor big nose. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think that at the very least they have good tracking skills though. Mm. And I thought she's gonna go praying man to something, you know what I'm saying? If you find a mate in life, you should be loyal. In your case, grateful. Yeah, I was definitely gonna go with the grateful one. Both of them really. Plenty of Sid to go around here. Yeah. <laughs> Sid's definitely gonna be lucky just to find someone. Yeah, for sure. Look where Manny's looking. There you go. Yeah. Ah. Ah, uh, yeah, right. I wonder if she was even slightly weirded out that this mammoth and a sloth together yeah. for some reason. You think she would be a little. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that, you know, she's definitely using her last bit of strength to get the baby up there, but then like... They don't pull her up? Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought that was weird. She's just like, yep, yeah, okay, this mammoth has got my child, I'm just gonna mm. give up right here, halfway out of the river. Yeah, all right, I'm good. Mammoth's got it from here. Now, I know they can't really show that she's like dying and super yeah. messed up, because... Mm. Kids movie. Yeah, kind of. But still, it does look a lot like she just kind of like figured, <laughs> yeah. you know what, halfway up this rock, that's enough. I'm out. I'm good. <laughs> the mammoth, the sloth, they got it. Yeah, yeah. Are you forgetting something? No. Still trying to get rid of the last thing I saved. <laughs> you can't leave him here. Well, he can for this long, but I don't mm. think he would honestly get that far. Yeah. There's smoke. That's his herd. We should return him. Let's get something straight. There is no we. In fact, Without me, there wouldn't even be a you. I mean, the last part's true, but yeah. unfortunately, as long as he's walking with you, there is a we. Just up the hill. I'm not going. That'd be pretty easy for you to get rid of him. Just yeet him. <laughs> I'll take care of him. Oh, yeah, that's good. This I gotta say. Yeah, that's your excuse. You yeah, just yeah, yeah. Fail. Totally. <laughs> we don't need that meany weeny mammoth. I mean, aren't you meant to be really good at climbing your sloth? But climbing trees. Yeah. Rocks aren't quite the same deal. If goats can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those goats? Yeah. <laughs> they are crazy. I know they are. Yeah. <laughs> Fuckers but, will find a 1% find a you know, angle a and just walk up it yeah. <laughs> like a freaking video game glitch. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, though? No, not quite the same. <laughs> He's not nearly that skilled. No, no. <laughs> there you go, man. Use your quads. Use your quads. Oh, buddy. This seems just like a really bad idea. Oh. It's one thing for you to fall and hurt yourself. Yeah. Fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna die. Yes. Yes, yeah. you are. Please realize this sooner. Go back down and find a different way up. Look, it's all right. If they fall, Manny will catch the baby, oh. just not him. Yeah, and well, there, there it <laughs> yeah. goes. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, dang. Okay. Talk about catching a bite. <laughs> that pink thing is mine. <laughs> Pink thing? Actually, that pink thing belongs to us. You two are a bit of an odd couple. There's no us. At least he was accepting. Can't have one of your own, so you want to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> I was returning him to his herd. Oh, yeah. Nice try, Bucktooth. No, you are. You calling me a liar? I didn't say that. <laughs> you were thinking it. He reads mine. <laughs> <laughs> they all do, don't you know? Name's Diego, friend. Manfred. 
and I'm not your friend. If you're looking for the human, they left this morning. You want to tell him where they went? All right, I'll help you bring it to its herd. You'll leave me alone yeah. after that. Um, okay, deal. They don't know which direction to go. Well, I think you're stressed, and that's why you eat so much. Hard to get fat on a vegan diet. It's all this fur. And you're a mammoth, man. You're meant to be big. It's regular mammoth size. Ah! Don't spear me! Oh, you were just assuming that there would be people here. Oh, yeah. that's perfect. He meant it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, dude, even <laughs> without a rake. Still gonna do the rake joke. Oh, oh bed. Yes. Yeah. Me too, bro. Me too. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Told you they were gone. Don't you have some poor defenseless mm. animal to disembowel? Oh, you already did. Yeah, and I mean, he does have to eat, so sooner or later. It's still green. They headed north two hours ago. It's still green. They headed north two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, they left food behind. Isn't that useful? Mm. Actually, true. He could just eat fish. Mm -hmm. Give me the baby. And you're just a good citizen helping out. I just know where the humans are going. Glacier Pass. Everybody knows they have a settlement on the other side. How does everyone know? Maybe because they know how to avoid them? You're never going to reach them before the pass closes up with snow. So you can give that baby to me or get lost in a blizzard. Blizzard. Most deaf. There's your little bundle of joy. Turning it to the humans. Bad Tiggy Waggy gets left behind. He says he's getting left behind. Way too quick on the draw. Tiggy Waggy is going to lead the way. Can I talk to you for a second? No. <laughs> no, never talk to me <laughs> for any seconds. The sooner I get rid of Mr. Stinky Drool Face. Baby, too. You won't always have Jumbo around to protect you. I'm gonna eat you. I'm pretty sure that by Mammoth's standards, he's not actually that big. <laughs> no. Up front where I can see you. Help me. He's trying, dude. Yeah. You make it hard. <laughs> you make it difficult, Sid. <laughs> so difficult. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, as much as you got to take care of the baby, crying baby, it's a lot. Yeah. You won't stop squirming. You're holding it wrong. It, yes, why, upside down. Why are you holding it upside down? Come back. <laughs> He's wearing one of those baby thingies. So? If he poops, where does it go? Yeah, there you go. Humans are disgusting. Not just crapping on the ground. Yeah. Why am I the poop checker? Because returning the runt was your idea. I'll pummel you if you don't. <laughs> Uncool, man. Survival of the fittest, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Coming through. Hey, watch out! Don't just. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna slip. What an asshole. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah. <gasps> nah, there's nothing there. Yeah. It did just threaten to pummel him. Mm -hmm. And he <laughs> followed did. through. Yes, yeah. it did. Man of his word. Mm -hmm. Do that again. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> man, isn't that always the way in the animated thing? You gotta make something innocent laugh, just beat something up. I know. Beat it's someone up. It's really this idea that babies and infants just love violence. <laughs> well, I think it's probably valid. Mm, yeah. Babies, violence. Yeah. Yeah. True. Truly nature's monsters. Mm -hmm. There's the baby. There he is! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dude, obviously. Bet he's hungry. How about some milk? Ooh, I'd love some. Buddy. <laughs> well, I ain't exactly lactating right now. You're a little low on the food chain to be mouthing off, aren't Enough! you? Enough! Yeah, how exactly are you supposed to get milk? There's just three dudes here. I mean, in all fairness, some men can experience lactation. Enough to feed a baby. Not really enough to feed a baby, but so... it's just like, it can happen. I love it. <laughs> Nature's so weird. <laughs> Nature is weird. Food! Yeah, there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, there these... goes the prehistoric chicken. Yeah, these fucking birds. <laughs> That's right. Prepare for the ice age! Do you find it funny there's just this depiction that dodos were too stupid to survive? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the environment just changed too much around them. Oh, uh, no, they were hunted to death. Oh, that they were hunted the, to the death. The main thing that wiped them out was, right. yeah, dodos had no real reason to fear humans, and we took advantage of that. Ah, intruders! Oh, right, and hence why people called them too stupid to survive. Yeah. Cool. Ah! Dark. Mm. Hey, can we have our melon back? This is our private stock. Subarctic temperatures will force us underground for a billion billion years! Yep, yeah, and those three melons will do it. Just migrate, guys, for fuck's sake. Taekwondodos, attack! Jesus Christ. 
Oh, there goes Why? one. Why? Oh my god. How many of you? Oh. Yep. Okay. There goes our last female. Seriously? Yep. Dude, if that was the last female, you guys were screwed a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Don't got it. I think it's like you need a thousand people of varying genetics for it to actually work long term. Mm, oh, yeah. Totally, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise you just end up with a shit ton of inbreeding. Way too much inbreeding, mm. yeah. <laughs> Hey, Manny, you know, you can just leave now. Oh, well, not anymore, I guess. So. He's open, he's open, he's open. <laughs> Yay. Um, don't be that worried. It's not like they can actually do anything to you. <laughs> There's not that we've seen. Mm. And hell, if this guy can't handle them, I mean, you're fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, like, do that. Yeah, football style. Fair enough. <laughs> Like, how much of this is him and how much of it is them just sucking really, really badly? I'm gonna say, uh, mostly the second one. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Dude, that was the worst way to jump out. Just melon first. <laughs> I know, yeah, belly flop, the, the cold, hard ground. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the fact that the first thing to hit the ground was the melon. Oh, oh right. That thing should have exploded in his hands. Oh, yeah, for sure, but don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> Fuck. Idiot. Oh, yeah. And what, he's just gonna... Oh, no. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Now we gotta find more food. Oh. Plus, it is... Yeah. He can still totally eat it. He's good. Hey, look at that. Dinner and a show. <laughs> the dark oh. show. Yeah, that's not a fun show, man. Oh. A whole bunch of birds just uh, accidentally killed themselves. What do you normally call entertainment? I know, right? Well, that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty entertaining. Yeah. You want a piece of me? Yeah! Spoils. Why would you punch right into a hole? I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. Why are you at a... Yeah. Bedtime, squirt. I can see the logic here, but I don't know how you're supposed to sleep this way. Unless you never move your trunk in your sleep. Yeah, maybe you might get smothered. How about a good night, kid? He's asleep. Or accidentally throws the baby in his sleep. <laughs> okay. I was talking to you. Fine, I'll tuck myself in. Jesus. Oh, yes. oh my god. Why do you have to sleep on a rock, man? How is that better? I mean, he's like, well, my brain is made of rocks. I should sleep on rock. Fair <laughs> enough. Like attracts like. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, while he's asleep, all the blood just rushes to his brain, and this is why he's so stupid. That would make sense. <laughs> Will you stop it? All right, I'm trying to relax. Yeah, enjoy uh, God duty, Manny. Mm -hmm. And immediately falls asleep. Yeah, naturally. Ooh. <laughs> Spoopy. <laughs> Nope. Denied. And yeah, if Manny's asleep, then he's definitely moving his trunk in his sleep. I know they're trying to yeah. make sure he's like, no, I'm, he's just protective even in his sleep. Let's squish him. But I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Go ahead, slice me. It'll be the last thing you ever do. I'm working here. Tracking down helpless infants too difficult for you? I know that guy's voice. Yeah. Soto's getting tired of waiting. He said, come back with the baby or don't come back at all. I haven't picked the actor yet. No. Uh. Although I'm trying to think of where I've heard the phone. Game or something. TV show. I think he's, vo he's been around. Voice like a bunch of douchebag characters. If you know who's voicing this particular tiger, let us know. I'm bringing the baby and tell him I'm bringing a mammoth. I'm leading him to half peak. That would be a lot of dinner for these guys. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Not yet. Dickhead. Oh, Are you God. stupid? Crack addicts. Please. <laughs> get out of the control. We'll need the whole pack to bring this mammoth down. <laughs> Where's the baby? You lost it? Dude, how would he have it? Yeah. Sid! Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's so ugly. Hello, little baldy bee. Where'd you find it? It's amazing you managed to find these other female sloths just randomly. Just hanging out. Yeah. Neighbors were closing in on him, so I just snatched him. Not migrating. No. That's so weird in animation and stuff where they always do, like, 
lashes and fur titties. Yeah. <laughs> and I only wish I had one of my own. Find that attractive in a male. Who wouldn't want a family, I always say. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know. <laughs> So, so as I was saying, ladies, I... Uh, oh, my God. Hey, Manny. Please tell me there's like a water hot spring right here somewhere. Mm. What's the matter with you? And I'll be right back. God. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. It's so hard to find a family guy. Oh. Well, the sensitive ones get eaten. Well, he's, he's a family guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I need him. What? A good looking guy like you? Say that, but you don't mean it. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me cramp your style. Oh, thanks, Manny. You're a pal. You know, we don't know what a good-looking sloth is supposed to be. True. Without pain. No, man, I need him. Which is just assuming that he's ugly because he's so stupid. Translates. Where were we? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? How did you not notice these rhinos? Pretty dense. <laughs> Pretty tail walks by and suddenly he moves like a cheetah. And that tiger can't even find a sloth. What are you looking at, bone bag? <laughs> you know, you are also a bag of bones. Yeah, that kind of uh, applies to most mammals. <laughs> You're gonna grow into a great predator. I don't think so. Patch of fur, no fangs, no claws. Yeah, overall pretty useless. I get it. What's so threatening about you? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Hey, does this look like a petting zoo to you, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Brutal. You just earned a timeout. How is that a place to put a timeout? Oh, you think that's funny? How about this? Give you a little snack for the owls. Also, I don't think the baby knows what fear is. Yeah. So he's just chilling. Just vibing. Having a great old time mm -hmm. high up in the air. Whoa. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Tiger! Help! Yeah, this scene, he was supposed to be running from that female sloth that got caught. Uh, oh, he got me! Oh! Get away from me. Originally, I saw, like, the DVD extras. Mm. There was, like, this female sloth that would liked Sid and followed him around, but he, you know, really didn't like her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, instead of the rhinos, it was just supposed to be her. Pretty much all the plot scenes. <laughs> right. And he was just except running away for, from that. Yeah, so they kept, that first one. So they kept this like out of that pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. They just changed like the reason he's running away and feeling that way. Pretty much, yeah. I think except for that first bit with the salad and the dandelion. Yeah. I think that one was the same, but everything else was sure. like, huh. Pretty smooth. Yeah. Wouldn't have noticed. Mm -hmm. Over here! <laughs> oh, dude, don't, what the fuck? Don't shake the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The tiger beat us to him. Yeah, he was supposed to be going, I la, 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 ah, oh, ah. Oh. Uh, so I looked a little bit off. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Then she realizes he's faking and goes, oh, finish him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> get sick of his shit. Gosh, I hate breaking their hearts like that, but you know how it is. Oh, I said, right. I hate breaking the hearts like that. Interesting. Well, it's a good thing that he's got such a big jaw and such a wide space for his a wide mouth space. He's got a big mouth. Yeah, big mouth. <laughs> I actually thought you were going to eat me. I don't eat junk food. <laughs> the problem there is junk food usually at least tastes good. Yeah, right? Mm. Did you get a sample there, buddy? <laughs> Sloths are really well known for being uh, not the cleanliest animals. Oh. Oh, thanks for waiting. One. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just walk away. <laughs> You know, you can't uh, play this with this kid. You have claws. I know, right? Stop it. Don't make me reach back there. I don't care who started it. I'll finish it. Uh, I'd say, like, dude, it's a baby, but I'm like, he's a fucking baby. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> I like the joke. Yeah. I'm very yeah. curious. It's just a block of ice. I probably yeah, yeah, but... sure. Well, the different colored fire can happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. Totally. Burn different chemicals. Oh, yeah, it's just exactly chemical reactions. <laughs> Frame the baby. Modern architecture. It'll never last. <laughs> Modern architecture. It's kind of funny that they had it exactly the same. Like, no, Stonehenge didn't change in yeah. any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that right off the bat. <laughs> uh -huh. Hiya, Manny. Dude, found the one thing he's good at. <laughs> Just don't learn, do you, mate? No, he does not. Hey, Sid. Because he managed to get his head stuck in a block, but Manny didn't fall through the ice. Nope. <laughs> yeah. You're lost, aren't you? I know exactly where we are. Uh, you see any humans go by here? I love this game. I love this game. Oh, right. Shreds. Yeah, sure. Yes. Good times. Three words. First word. Uh, stump. Uh, pack. Good one, Manny. Long teeth and claws. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. <laughs> the pack of big chins. Yes. <laughs> Here comes the crimson chin. Pack of, uh, pack of bears. Pack of noses. Uh, pack of derm. Pack of derm. Yep, that's right. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, he gets bonus frost damage. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, pull them out of your nose. What the fuck? Oops, actually managed to catch up. Yeah, he didn't lie. Yeah. He did lead them to the humans. He did. Found a shortcut. Yeah, a completely different direction. Slip through there and beat the humans or we take the long way and miss them. Check this out. See, that's not really a joke. You're just getting their hopes up. Yeah, <laughs> if only. <laughs> Ted the tiger found a shortcut. No thanks, I choose life. <laughs> I love that line. I suggest yep. you take the shortcut. Move, sloth! How is it a shortcut if it takes so much effort to actually get up there for Yeah, them? true. It's supposed to make it easier, not just be shorter. Oh, at least what? this decides it for Inside. them. Doesn't necessarily have to make it easier now that you about it, but you have to get there in less time. And yeah. if it's harder, yeah, yeah. Then it Precisely. takes more time. <laughs> That's one of my irrational fears. Glass dropping on me. Ah, fair enough. For me, it's just the uh, having a cave in. Oh, yeah, in yeah. In general, fair, fair. although not really irrational. More like if you're in a cave, it could cave in. True. Sure. That would suck. Okay, I vote shortcut. Stick together. It's easy to get lost in here. Even though being in an ice tunnel would absolutely freak me out because of the possibility of, you know, the cave in, as mm -hmm. mentioned earlier, it still looks so cool. Yeah, I love caves. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Nice. Yeah, of course. Dickhead. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's pretty cool though, because pretty much everything they see in this mm. cave happens or comes to pass in like the future movies. Oh, does it? Do yeah, it? there's dinosaurs in the third ones. I don't know about this one. This was just a funny gag. <laughs> oh no. Just the evolution. <laughs> the pose and everything. Oh, that's amazing. There you go, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that it? turns up in a future movie? In the fourth or fifth one? Yeah, oh, there's really? aliens. Oh, okay. Hard enough to keep track of one baby. Jesus. Um. <laughs> Man, love that. <laughs> what a fucking trip for that kid. <laughs> Bye, Dad, and Dad, and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and how perfectly set up is this ice tunnel? Yeah. And this is another one of those things where I'm like, I love the idea of sliding through a crazy ice tunnel like this. Honestly, it just reminds me a lot of surfing, not yeah. getting battled. But... Terrifying. The actual tunnel, cave, I don't care what it is, if there's earth or ice or anything solid all around me, yeah, that's frightening. It's scary. Absolutely. Gotcha! Okay, make sure you oh. dickhead still have him. Oh, oh, Sid. Undone by hubris yet again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, His hide would be pretty thick, though. It would be, yeah. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, you know what? You need to go in that direction anyway. Surf, surf, dudes. <laughs> oh. How did the baby get past? He's very tiny. <laughs> and lucky. Yeah. Figured out how to go faster on yeah. the ice slide. Now they're just lugin. The animals, they're evolving. Yeah. They're figuring out aerodynamics. Absolutely. How did all of this ice form into this perfect slide slash tunnel? I don't know, science. <laughs> don't worry, Scratch. Oh. About to get help. Does that help? Getting through the wall. <laughs> See, now they're all through the wall. Yeah, who's up for round two? <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you could somehow find a way back to the start, you could make sure that you weren't gonna die. Yeah, yeah pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Yeah, these look familiar. They sure do. Tags. <laughs> <laughs> Barry was here. <laughs> oh, I love the fucking like translations they've done of some runes and shit carved into cave walls. It's just super high up and it's just that this is very high. Yeah. <laughs> that actually reminds me, they were um, trying to figure out what some old like Roman 
uh, images were. And I'm like, right. There's some interesting archaeological stuff. They try to ch- check it out. And it turns out it's literally just ancient Roman graffiti. Yeah. It's just like people's names and like was here essentially in like old Italian or whatever. I think that's like <laughs> Latin. Um, yes, old yeah, yeah. Latin. Uh, yeah, but, um, I think that's Pompeii where oh, really? a lot of shit got preserved. Yeah. So they found like copies that were literally like Gaius likes men, you yeah. know, <laughs> likes boys. And like, yeah. I slept with Cassius's mom. Yeah, <laughs> literally <laughs> just stuff like that. Because we've always been the same. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, it's good to know things haven't changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. Tigers are just playing tag with the antelope <laughs> with their teeth. Hey, he's just kissing the antelope's ass. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that cake. <laughs> oh, look, Manny, a mammoth. Hey, hey, this fat one looks just like you. <laughs> oh, and he's got a family. Oh, God, but this scene is so fucking sad. Look, he's playing with his kid. That's what mammoths are supposed to do. Have little baby mammoths sit. Oh, my God. It's just literally his life story on the wall. Kind of. Yeah. I yeah. Know. <laughs> Shut up. But... Yeah, of all the instances in movies where they do the grizzled older guy mm. who lost his family and now he's all like grumpy and stuff, but then we discover the tragic backstory. This is probably the best one. Sure. Still to this day, for me anyway. Mm. I think perhaps because it's just done with no words. Yeah. All visual. It's very simple and easy to grasp mm. and relate to. Yeah. And honestly, kind of beautiful animation and imagery. Yeah, really cool style, really creative. I love how, like, dehumanized the humans are. Yeah. Well, and then the whole story is from the animal's perspective. Yeah. That's great. Smart choice. Mm. Yeah, it just makes it that much more horrifying. Like, mm. these monsters, you know, they're the human characters, really. Totally. Can't imagine losing a child. Oh, yeah. Because I can't imagine having a child, so yeah. it doesn't help. I, uh... Yeah, I don't really plan on having, but couldn't imagine losing. Mm. No words, but they just tie that emotional tether together so well. Mm -hmm. And I will say that it's kind of sad to see this style of less dialogue heavy movie and storytelling kind of go out of fashion. It really has. I wouldn't say it's gone entirely. No, not entirely. It's just, you don't see it as often. Yeah. At least I don't think. But a lot more movies and TV shows are just a lot more dialogue heavy these days. And mm. in some ways, that's a good thing. Yeah, for sure. But just not like 100% of the time. Yeah, yeah. I've never even seen the snow. Tiger actually did it. There's half peak. Have you never really seen snow? I've never been to the snow. Not even once. Nope. Wow. Yeah, I mean, look. I've heard it's cool. (laughs) Nah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You once ever both had that same reaction. You're like, yeah, it's all right. (laughs) It's ice. Yeah. In powdery form. Lots of it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Now, look, I would say that the benefits to snow are simply just things that I haven't experienced because I haven't been like snowboarding or skiing. I've just been in places that were snowing and I was like, yep, it's cold. Tobogganing sounds fun. Or just any kind of, you know, riding on snow. Sick. Slide. But like (laughs) outside of that, Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Next stop, Glacier Pass. Did you hear that little fella? You're almost home. Assuming that there's anything out the other side of this Glacier Pass. My feet are sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Just ignore them. Seriously, feet are really hot. <laughs> it's almost like a little bit of a boy who cried wolf type situation. Yeah. Because it's, it's always just, you know. Tell me that was your stomach. I'm sure it was just thunder. With the clear skies. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Jesus. Really fortunate that they managed to not be on top of one of those. Mm, Yeah. (laughs) I'm really unfortunate that they managed to be walking across the fucking lava field. Yeah. With a bunch of ice on top of it. (laughs) I wish I could jump like that. (laughs) (laughs) I was just about to say, Manny... Throw the small one. Yes. Maybe not the child, though, because he can't take abuse like uh, Sid can. Yeah, Sid can take all the abuse. Oh, yeah. He's got a just indestructible head. Yeah, pretty much so. Ah! Ooh. And- <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> 
Uh, I do love that this is a cool scene where, you know, they've got to actually work together and all that kind of stuff. But, mm -hmm. dude, how the hell is he holding on to ice? Yeah. With those claws. It, with anything. It's yeah. ice. Yeah, it's <laughs> slippy. Oh, I guess if he was digging his claws in, but mm -hmm. he wasn't. They were clearly sliding. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Couldn't get them in far enough. Yeah. Bye, uh, Manny. Shit. No? There he goes. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah. Yay, just like in the video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You can't actually fall into lava. It's too dense. Daddy, you okay? You'll just burn alive on top of it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Say something. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Mm. It's liquid rock. Yeah. I <laughs> You're not you. denser than rock. Yeah. <laughs> You're standing on my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Why did you do that? You could have died. Yeah, but he's not a dickhead. Yeah. That's what you do in a herd. They look out for each other. Feeling a bit shit now? Thanks. His eyes have been opened. Mm. We are the weirdest herd I've ever seen. It's true. Not wrong with that, though. Yeah. I can't wait to get my claws in that mammoth. Has it always a crack addict character in the villain group? No one touches the mammoth until I get that baby. I'm gonna slice its hindquarters. Knock it off. Next to shoulders. Extremely juicy. You know, it is really funny that there's always the crack addict character because it's not like you know that growing up. Mammoths don't go down easy. You're just like, yeah, there's always a weird <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and your parents are like, Ugh. You have to force it into a corner. You get older and you're like, wait. Uh, wait a minute. And when you three have it trapped, I'll go for the throat. Cool. Nice. Do it. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> we gotta get this kid out of the wind. Speaking of, that kid's barely protected as it is. Yeah. You think that he would already be frozen over. I don't know. He's a Neanderthal. <laughs> maybe he's just a little denser. That's a thought process. A little maybe, better insulated. Uh, may maybe as a Neanderthal, the baby's actually furrier than we think. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> More body hair. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got like a fucking Austin Powers yeah. style chest. <laughs> full on rug. He's prepared. Christ alive. <laughs> How much further? Three miles. We'll get there in the morning. What are you doing? Putting sloths on the map. Oh, Christ. Yeah, for a second there, I thought he was going to try to make a map. You make it realistic and draw him lying down. It's not a terrible drawing for Sid. It's better than I was expecting. And make him rounder. Perfect. <laughs> oh, fun. Wow. That worked out really quickly. I'm a genius. Don't get me wrong. I know it was a full-on accident, so, you know. <laughs> it had to be an accident. Yeah. There's no way Sid could have done that on purpose. Refer to me as Sid, Lord of the Flame. I just wish he'd sparked a couple more times and yeah. then yeah, it accidentally sure. caught fire. Your tail's on fire. <laughs> Again, Sid, with the hubris. Oh. Seriously, how did you not figure this one out? Thank you. Look at this. Aww. Taking his first steps, probably. Yeah. We've only known this kid for like two days, but yeah. yeah. I assume. I don't believe it. And then he walks straight into the fire. Oh, ah! God. <laughs> no! <laughs> I do like how, even though it was in a relatively short amount of time, they do show the little steps to how Diego stops wanting to kill the kid. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even from the get go, he was more invested in, oh, this is payback for what you guys did to us. Mm -hmm. Not actually sadistic about it. Yeah. Okay. Now you hug back. Mm. Nope. Okay. Kitty. <laughs> Our little guy's growing up. And he's getting sleepy. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Sleep time, Lumpy. Useful if you could get a blanket of some kind, but I don't know how. Yeah. It's a trunk. The trunk is the blanket. It has to be. It's a good thing they uh, accidentally made fire. Yeah. I've never had a friend who would risk his life for me. Yeah. He's a good guy. Top bloke. Mm -hmm. Turns out it was only risking his life because he didn't really want to live that much anyway. Oh, God. Yeah. Funny on this scene, his eyes aren't reflecting the light from the fire because he's not supposed to be spoopy in this scene. Hey, Scrap. Oh, okay. Got frozen. Nice. Wait, did you get a new acorn? No, same uh, one. And now it's going to pop. How is yeah. it? <laughs> but how is it on the stick? I don't know. It's frozen on the stick? I figure it's got to be a new acorn. Yeah. You found maybe. one with the stick still attached. Possibly. That looks good. I think he's starting to look like me. Diego, what do you think? Can't hope not. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't do this. If we save him, he'll grow up to be a hunter. Maybe because we save him, he won't hunt him. Ow! Maybe he'll grow fur and a long skinny neck and call you mama. You know, if you guys were real concerned about this, what you could do is round up the remaining dodos, mm. make sure they don't accidentally kill themselves. Yeah. And feed them to the humans. Yeah, everybody's Excellent. happy. Yeah, let's create a dodo farm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Christ. <laughs> 
Come on, buddy. You frozen back there? Frozen with fear. Yes, with guilt. Yeah. Get down and follow me. At the bottom of Half Peak, there's an ambush waiting for you. What do you mean, ambush? I'm pretty sure he means ambush. Yeah. <laughs> you set us up. I was supposed to get the baby. You brought us home for dinner. Yeah. Basically. You're out of the herd. Bro, take out. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. I can help you. We can fight our way out. You can't. I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like only two of those tigers are actually strong. Yeah. One of them's this emaciated crackhead. <laughs> One of them's emaciated. The other one's probably too stupid. Yeah. Didn't seem that smart. Yeah, you know? true. Coordinated attacks. That's how you do it. Unless their plan here is to just throw the thick one at your <laughs> head. <laughs> hey, look who decided to show up. I was beginning to worry about you. Two minutes, you'll be satisfying your taste. Very nice. He didn't say human flesh, though. Yeah. And he's got the baby! Don't give away your positions until you see the mammoth. You want to maul something, don't you, Zeke? Yeah. Then what are you waiting for? He's waiting for his fix, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for the mammoth! <laughs> oh. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did he gain that much momentum that quickly? Yeah. This isn't that steep of an incline? Although I've never been to the snow, so hey, what do I know? Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh, dude. All this space. Yeah. You go straight for the one with the freaking obstacles. Hey! Oh! Oh, Don't fuck around, dude. That's what Sid does. <laughs> He's Sid fuck around the sloth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now start eating. Ah, no need. Yeah, but it would have been cold. <laughs> he got a little frost bite. And they would have been like, ooh. Oh, they would have been like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, that's cold. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. Black. <laughs> nice. Now just jump on him. Come on, Diego. Let's bring this mammoth down. Where the fuck is Sid going? <laughs> you know what? The crackhead is the only one who's got the smart idea. Yeah. There he is. Follow him. Mm -hmm. Get just, him alone. Yeah. Just wait. <laughs> right, where's the baby? Dickhead. <laughs> At least he acted fast. Yeah. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's gonna starve to death. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Slow, painful. On the plus side, he might die from withdrawals before that. Oh, the cold. Hypodermia. Just falling asleep. Uh. What are you doing? Leave the mammoth. I'll take you down first. Cats fighting. <laughs> the sound like a wow. <laughs> Actual cat fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Ouch. Yeah, that's a concussion at the very least. Mm -hmm. Come on, Manny, just step on them. Your tusks, man, you got a ranged attack. Got a lot of options, is mm -hmm. what we're saying. <laughs> I love how they couldn't show blood. So I just, know. It just looks like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. Even as a kid, you're like, what? So he just punched him in the chest? Yeah. And the, what? <laughs> they got what they were going for, but oh, still. No, I got what they were going for, but I was still like, come on, man. Yeah. That death was a lot clearer. <laughs> we did it. We? Yeah. I mean, he took care of the crackhead, so yeah. Oh, uh, totally. So he finally pulled his weight. This is just nothing. I know. <laughs> Some team, huh? Come on, we're still a team. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry I set you up. I don't know why you want to just give up in the snow right here. He's just pretending. He just wants to get away from you. <laughs> He's like, guys, I'm really tired. I think I'm just going to give up right here. Uh, I'm, just, I'm dying. Uh. <laughs> He's just going to fuck off later. You <laughs> have to take care of Manfred and Sid, especially Sid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to leave me here. If those humans get through the pass, you'll never catch them. You didn't have to do that. That's what you're doing, I heard. You know, Manny could just pick up Diego and put him on his back. I mean, if anything, though, wouldn't the humans freak out if they saw him? Probably. Like, I know he's not carrying Sid, but that's more of a choice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very deliberate choice. Yeah. Like, Manny could carry all three of them if he wanted. He just doesn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I don't blame him. Yeah, yeah not fair. Totally fair. Yeah. I thought it's like, you'll never get them if they reach the past. Why? <laughs> yeah. What is there a, a speed boost there? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they're part the, they, they go through the past. We can't follow any further. The game map ends here. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so far an NPC can go. Yeah. <laughs> Once the humans go through, they just disappear. Yeah. 
That's right. Your son is now a giant woolly mammoth. Yeah. I love how intimidating he looks too. <laughs> yeah. Just scowling at him as he comes. Yeah. What's up, asshole? <laughs> big nose respects big nose. <laughs> game respects game. <laughs> yeah. Dickhead. Yoink. <laughs> I'm not going to use that one. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> got your stick. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> I'm glad that he was smart enough to warn the boys. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, lads. He's got my kid. <laughs> Fellas, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to kill this woolly mammoth specifically because he brought my child. Yeah, yeah. the sloth get him. Yeah. <laughs> His design makes me kind of think of Giga Chad. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Super rock jaw. I know. Yeah. He's been doing those chewing exercises, I see. <laughs> I've definitely seen Ugh. guys who did get massive, like, jaw muscles mm -hmm. from that kind of shit. It's not good. Yeah. It also apparently can give you excessive headaches. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't balance out the rest. You're not going to change your bone structure from that. <laughs> no. Well, it just makes your jaw stick yeah. out a little bit further yeah. on the side. But just this part. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else. You just kind of look comical. Yeah. Oh. Don't forget about us. Hi, buddy. Take care of yourself. I won't be here for you anymore. No. We won't forget about you. Manny will try, but... No, they forget about him pretty quick. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this kid is, like, never referenced again in any of the sequels. They just forget him immediately. Yeah. yeah. That would have been such an interesting thing to do to have him come back older. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it never happened. If I'm wrong, tell me, but, yeah. I would I like to so. see, like, you know, in movie five or six or mm -hmm. whatever, the kid comes back as, like, a 20-year-old. Spoiler, that's just the crudes. Yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> tie-in of the century. Yeah. Bye. All right, we won't hunt you today. Yeah. But tomorrow, <laughs> we feast. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Peekaboo. Where's the baby? Let's head south. What a fake out. I <laughs> know. Oh, God, you barely injured. Playing it up for the benefits. <laughs> Just very quickly, it reminds me of this sports moment. There was a NBA Finals 2008. Paul Pierce looks like he gets hurt. They take him off the court yeah. in a uh, like a wheelchair. It's like, oh, he's not coming back. He's yeah, yeah. Like two minutes later, he comes back, gets straight back in the game, hits two big shots, and it's like a huge moment. And everyone's looking back, like, wait. Wait a minute. Why did you have to get taken out in a wheelchair? <laughs> you know the explanation he yeah. gave like 10, 15 years later? Yeah. Just really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was joking. <laughs> I hope he wasn't. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's hysterical. I, I choose to believe that it's true because his nickname is The Truth and he can't lie. Yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. He had to go make a different kind of dunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Save your breath, Sid. You know humans can't talk. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Diego, you're okay. Nine lives, baby. Yay. And you just used Eight one of now. them. now. Yeah. I'm really glad they didn't name the child because, you know, didn't yeah. humanize him too much. Mm -hmm. Didn't get too attached. Yeah. Some little bag of bones. Mike Wazowski logic. Once you name it, you get attached to it. Exactly. Want to lift? I've got to save whatever dignity I've got left. You're hanging out with us now. Dignity's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, especially around him. Yeah. <laughs> no dignity here. He would know a lot about not having dignity. Mm -hmm. But I'll take that lift. Yeah, climb aboard. <laughs> I do love the message about just like alternative family structures though. You know what? I agree and I uh, always enjoyed that about this movie growing up. I will say maybe for me that makes more sense that I'll give them that. Even though I have siblings, yeah. I technically I have a whole family that's, you know, regular size or whatever, but mm. I was raised as an only child with a single parent. Yeah, it's not a contest. It was a little different. Yeah. yeah. So that whole idea of found family was really mm. important to me and I always loved that in stories. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with the divorced parents and mm. other people if I ever felt weird about it it's mm. because other people made me feel weird about it yeah. but I never had a problem with it yeah. so this was really cool for so me as well to show that it's like yeah different families exist and that's fine yeah so the found family thing really works for a lot of people for different reasons exactly this, this is funny 
Uh, that they had to end it the way they started it. Yeah. <laughs> like, how, how is he not dead? <laughs> yeah, cartoon logic. It's like oh people God. were saying in The Incredibles, like, no, they didn't freeze that cop. They just encased him in ice. That did no, no, that's not how that works. Guys, have you put your whole hand on an ice block before? Yeah. It's not good. Or just in ice cold water? Yeah. Well, does, does the inside of your hand stay warm and stay fine? No. No. You'll fucking freeze to death if everything around you is frozen. How are you breathing? <laughs> See, now he's got that super strength. Yeah. Ooh, and I found a bigger nut. A giant nut. Coconut. How are you going to open that nut, bro? <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's a big nut you got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, now this is how he gets his nut on. Yeah. <laughs> It's just sand. Why is it cracking? <laughs> I'm going to allow it this one yeah. time. <laughs> just so we can do the same joke. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Managed to split the whole island. <laughs> and since that was set 20,000 years later, it's mm. technically after all of the sequels. So we know ah. how Scrat died. <laughs> nice. But yeah, Ice yeah. Age. I Still holds good. up. That was classic. Mm, very classic. Really enjoyed it. It was very interesting to go from some of the recent movies we've done that just have like a lot of dialogue to this, where there's a lot of visual storytelling. Yeah, predominantly visuals. And don't get me wrong, we've obviously done a few movies that are more visually told in mm. their story. Mm hmm but it is nice to have that reminder every now and then. I think just even for us as editors. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Having to edit tons of dialogue can be a pain. Got some got some room to maneuver. Yeah, yeah that does help. It's a nice little uh, break for us and yeah. our um, team. Yes, two people. <laughs> the yes. two other people our two that are team. our team. Yes, <laughs> exactly. From my first exposure to the idea of like the found family trope, Okay, so this this was like the first time you had at least thought about it in the story. Yeah, I mean, because I'd always been like raised with the idea yeah, of like right. other family structures mm. being totally valid and stuff. Mm. It's the first time I'd ever seen it in a movie. Mm. And yeah, I mean, like, I know that they made a bit of a joke about the whole like, oh, so you guys couldn't have your own, so you decided to adopt yeah, yeah. kind of thing. But it's like, I think it helped to validate the idea of like, they're all guys, but they can raise this kid. Yeah. And they're all like good sure. parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a, oh, you need to have a mother and a father it's like kind of mm -hmm. at least introduced in a mm -hmm. in a very passive way that idea yeah to probably a lot of kids and look it's not the first story or major yeah. movie to do this specific story uh -huh. with the three random dads to like mm -hmm. this random child is i think there's literally a movie called three men and a baby yeah okay that makes sense <laughs> but uh, this definitely i think it helps to introduce this kind of idea to kids so it's good when, you know, to have this kind of story growing up because yeah. it's like, it's just in your head. Mm. And then when you're older, it's not like weird. If you're meeting the emotional, psychological and physical well-being needs yeah. of a kid, uh, guess what? You're that kid's parent. Yeah, that, that's what matters. <laughs> that, that's what qualifies you as a parent. Blood relation is probably like dead last mm -hmm. on my list of things that qualify you as a parent because I've met so many people who are blood relatives to their children. It's like, you didn't raise your kids. <laughs> oh, exactly. So this movie fills in that story idea mm. quite well. Very well. Uh, Until next time, guys, you've been with Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Buds.